Welcome back guys to another operator guide. Today I'm going to do Ella. I've been playing her for the past few days just to, you know, make sure it's a really good operator that I want to promote on this channel. And I think I have decided that I want to play Ella a lot more. I gave a break from her once that Scorpion got nerfed, but they've made it a little bit better now. And um, obviously she's quick. She has a really high fire rate, 1080. Really nice pistol as well, the same as Zofia's, deployable shield and barbed wire. And uh, just as overall a good operator, really good at any any role you want her to play. She can be really good at roaming and she could even be pretty good at anchoring behind a shield. And that's honestly, I like to do use her as a shallow roamer usually and just uh, defend near sight and just use that fire rate to my advantage and clean up some kills near sight. So we're gonna go into a custom game and I'll give you guys just the rundown of her. But first things first, we go into the weapons here. Uh, we usually do this on every single one. She has a shotgun, which is also really good. I will tell you that. Uh, I don't know what you would wanna use for it. I would use extended. Uh, probably angled and any sight you want to really. I like the smaller sights like reflex over hollow on shotguns since uh, I'm usually going to be up in their face or just the iron sights. But for the most part, I use the Scorpion Evo here. Hollow, flash hider, vertical grip. You aren't going to want to go angled. This recoil is already impossible. So just vertical grip, burst fires, and you'll be all right. Laser could even work all right for you here with how great this gun is. And then I use flash hider just because I want to get burst shots and I'm not ever going to hold down the trigger with a comp in Seder. So that's our loadout. Uh, the RG-15, great pistol, muzzle break. I use a laser, no reason why. Just I just like using a laser on the pistol for some reason. And then barbed wire, deployable shield. Uh, either of those will do. I will show you right now a good strat, just how to play the deployable shield better with the Evo. So I'm actually gonna hop into Outback here. Uh, with just our normal setup here, and I'm going to be rocking a deployable seal just to show you how powerful this could be as a anchor before I go into roaming because honestly, she's so underrated. Everyone wants to use her as a roamer, but high rank players, they don't really roam, so they like to stay around site. Uh, this is like the connector room, really, the showers and the dorms, and a lot of people push this, so a good way to play this would be, you know, Elamine somewhere above here or somewhere around here, just in proximity of that. I would put one somewhere up in here too and then put one anywhere else anywhere really that you think people are going to come up you can put piano you can just put it in sight just to help your your uh, anchors here then if you have a, a player here i would reinforce this this is just an example you can use this on any map any time uh it'll work like this this kind of strategy with ella just playing near sight and holding angles such as the one i'm showing you so Ella's gun, let's just go over that first. Let's just see her aim, right? So really, really nice ADS and really just feels like a really nice weapon until you shoot it and then you hold down the trigger. That, that, yeah, that's, that's why. But if I control it, right, it's not that bad. It's like the first shots ended up there, the first 10. Other than that, you shouldn't be holding down the trigger that much. Um, you should be really controlling it with little bursts. So that's okay right like that's that's all right there you just got to get work on your pull down once it once it starts going on its horizontal ver uh recoil i think it's after 16 bullets then it starts doing this number where it's just going brrr, like shaking back and forth and that is when you need to stop shooting so that is how many shots you want to take right that's all you want to do ever so Keep that in mind whenever you're playing behind shields, using shields as cover, using the walls as cover. However you're doing it, you're gonna wanna just keep that in mind. And of course, play off the shield. So the two biggest pinch points here on this map, people like to go, um, a lot of people like to go dorms whenever they're attacking this site, especially in rank. This is uh, solely off of rank, really. And uh, bowl room. So people are gonna come one or the other. And why I reinforce that one? Um, Usually people like to make a rotation hole here, which is fine if you pull in there or there or wherever you want to put it. Uh, but I just reinforce this so they can't shoot me through bowl into where I'm sitting in here. If this is unreinforced, then they can just shoot. If they get this wall open here, they can uh, easily plow me through it. So that's why I always reinforce this one. You could even reinforce this one or just you know hope they don't shoot you in the back. But uh, for the most part, you're going to be sitting over here and using the shield as your cover. And uh, this is how you would anchor, not anchor, but anchor in, in short. It's like a 
like a shallow, very shallow roam, just sitting in a connector. I don't, I won't even consider this roaming, but um, using that, the fire rate to your advantage, people are gonna peek that, and just by your fire rate, that shoots like five bullets in like a half a half a peak, right? That shoots three bullets, so three bullets. It's so easy to challenge these angles, right? This angle, obviously, you don't want to stand up like that, but you just want to, you want to give it quick peeks and sputter fire. I'm almost out of ammo already uh, due to this fiasco, but uh, this pre-firing this is so easy. And then when people try to swing this, um, just today I played this. This was a plat match. Just a reminder of that. I heard someone's footsteps here, right? A sledge. I heard him whip out his hammer, went around here, pre-fired him, got a one-tap, right? Just straight to the head. It's not really a one-tap, but uh, this gun is impossible to do a one-tap. So, except if you put it in one burst, I guess. But it was just a one little shot, and it was a headshot, and that was last game. I played him all night tonight just to uh, how to play player, really, and I did this same strategy in various ways on every single map I played. I think I played Outback Chalet, Oregon. I played her the same way. I played her every single round. And then I realized that she is just as good as she used to be. And roaming, she's just as good, obviously. Three speed. So another way to play this, if you have all your mines, you could set, you know, one right here. All right, and then set, this is more of a roaming perspective. Is, uh, is that, is that destroy? Or does it just, okay. And then you'd put one right here, right? Or, yeah, one right there, and then another one somewhere in your flank over here. And you could just chill here, right? Or chill somewhere roaming, of course. If you're trying to be more fraggy of a roamer. And you will notice a few things here. One is that uh, you have your L mines here, so the Grismont mine will indeed protect you. Low-key protect you. So if this one goes off, it's a quick peek up and plow whatever is there and it's always only a few bullets get back down into cover if you miss your shots then oh well don't keep holding down the trigger that is not how you play ella that is the last thing you want to do when playing ella on any map really so that's that then you have one right here right watching this and no one's just going to cross right in front of you without you hearing them and then you have one top shark so you could easily easily rotate back on up here and go to town over here now there's obviously stuff you shouldn't do as ella and i think if you're not playing how i showed you guys in uh the laundry room site over there you don't want to just throw your ella mines around in places and then go run off and do your thing roaming so i mean if you want sound cues for garage right down garage down here on the stairs uh that is where you're going to want to put them because if you put them in sight and you're t this guy rushes in, right? And there's an L mine here, and he gets distorted. If your teammate is, say, there, and he peeks around the corner, he's gonna get L mined as well. So this thing has pretty good range. So it will L mine them both, and that is obviously not what you want as a L player. You want it more as sound cues and being able to swing. If you're playing top stairs, right, and you had an L mine there, and they jump in, it's quite easy to pre-fire him right there. And her gun is really good at pre-firing. Same thing goes for this window. But I like using the L mines if I'm roaming. I usually put one around the site just to help the team out, right? I put one there, say that. Uh, just for this person that's playing in electrical to be able to um, swing in and get the easy kill and just know that they're coming garage side. Sometimes I know sound can get messed up and by not knowing where they are, then, then you're kind of screwed. But uh, say I'm roaming, right? I'm roaming games, dorms, uh, this side of the map, right? I could do the same thing I did over there. People are going to rush in here. People might rush in through piano. Say that. So let's, let's put one piano. And then I can sit, say, on green stairs, on these stairs over here. So the back stairs over here is another place that people want to push in. Usually people like to come in through here, go to bowl, and then go in and push, push the site if you're playing on this garage site. So I'm just showing you that this can be done on more than one site. This is more of a roaming perspective of Ella. And uh, if this Ella mine goes off, you're on stairs right here. You come right here and you pre-fire the heck out of them. And that's an easy, easy kill. Maybe two even. Because that Ella mine will get plenty of people. Same thing if you hear the Echo mine or the Ella mine over here. 
by piano. And then you just have to use basic sound cues as any roamer needs to do and just uh, get ready for stuff like that. Because obviously that window is unprotected, people can come from the stairs, people can already be in bowl, so you just got to listen for comms and stuff, and then you have easy flanks, just as any roamer would. This is just basic roaming here, but you can really uh, even enhance that with Elamines. A lot of people like to do the same thing kind of with lesion mines and use it as sound cues, but L is even better because this thing will distort the heck out of you. And obviously that's what you want in going into a gunfight, being at an advantage and just being able to know exactly where they are. You know that they're going to be stuck in somewhere in here or jumped back out the window, but you know they are somewhere around here if this L mine goes off. And if you're playing even a tight corner here, if you're playing up on this thing, just chilling. Uh, I swear you can do it if you break that pot and get up here. Uh, I don't know how to get up there. There you go. So, if you're chilling up here, you hear this one go off. Bada bing, bada boom. You are pre-firing. And this is how you should be roaming. You shouldn't be trying to just run around like a hectic man trying to get all your frags. Let them come to you. These Grizzma mines are helpful. And if you even play all three of them, then they're even more helpful. And they, now you have this whole part of the map locked down with Grismont mines minus bowl of course but the only way to get the bowl would be from this window and from sharp stairs and you will still have four teammates so hopefully some of them are watching it so that's how you just play Ella in general I showed roaming I showed kind of an anchoring style I think the anchoring style works way better for higher ranks since um, I think just in general I think there shouldn't be that much roaming once you get higher ranks it's easier to keep teams in sight I think this game is meant for just maybe one or two roamers not everyone running around like they're crazy but stuff like this is still viable in any ranks so just keep that in mind hopefully this helped you guys uh, learn how to play Ella all I can say to you learn this recoil try to get better at it uh, it's gonna be hard try different sites out I like the hollow I've stuck with the hollow I'm just good at the hollow on a lot of guns so that's what I like to go with uh, but I've seen people run iron sights honestly and that seems kind of kind of interesting but and just get used to it regardless of what you do you just have to get used to it and keep it consistent don't keep switching around because all of these have different zooms all of these have different things so the main thing with Ella is a lot of people like to say her gun is her gadget so that is that is what I'm gonna say you gotta learn that before you even have the, your placement down which placements the easy part so hopefully this helped uh, I want to know who you guys want to see next I think uh, a lot of people wanted to see bandit so I'm gonna get with bandit next week probably and then the attacker I'm still undecided maybe a nomad guide or twitch or something along those lines those are the ones I've seen uh, people wanting lately so hopefully this helped as always and i will see you in the next one